the city of Columbus has been working for years on trying to make this place a, a, a cleaner environment, and you've all been here to learn about it today. But uh, it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for our great leaders, uh, Mayor Mike Coleman and uh, 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 Councilmember Eileen Paley. So I'm very pleased, and, and uh, it's my pleasure to introduce them. And uh, with that, welcome Mayor Coleman. All right. Uh, hey guys, now you know I'm just Mayor Mike to you guys. Adults have to call me Mayor Coleman, but you guys, you call me what? Mayor Mike. That's right. Now, which of you have not been sworn in yet to the Capitol Kids as junior mayors? Some of you haven't been? Okay, we're going to start out with that first. Let's have those who haven't been sworn in to stand up. Okay, this is to be a junior mayor. Okay, I want you to put up your right hand. This is your right hand. All right. Capital Key. No, this is the ones that haven't been sworn in. Because some of you have, because I remember. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. I, I remember swearing you in. I think I swore you in, but you can do it again. All right. I want everybody to repeat after me. I promise to do my duty. I promise to do my duty. To the United States of America. To the United States of America. To the state of Ohio. To the state of Ohio. And the city of Columbus. And the city of Columbus. I promise to obey my parents. And I promise to do great in school. And I promise to do great in school. And I promise from this day forward. And I promise from this day forward. To be excellent in everything I do. To be excellent in everything I do. Which includes. Which includes. Saving water. Saving water. All right. Everybody sit down. You're now honorary junior mayors. All right. All right. You know, I love Capital Kids. You are so special. You're geniuses, right? Yes. You know, and you are somebody. I'm proud of you. You've been so gifted just by being here, and we're glad to see you here again. Now, I got some questions for you, a little quiz. And I'm going to call on you, too. If you don't raise your hand, I'm going to call on you anyway. First question. Where does the water come from when you turn on the faucet? Right here. It comes from, it comes from the river, and then the water from the river comes to a water tower, and then the water tower provides the water that comes to your faucet. <laughs> Man. I'm Woo, that's Bailey Smith. Class over with. You're Bailey Smith. Stand up, Bailey. Come on up here, girl. You're a capital kid. You're smart. <laughs> All right. After it rains, where does the water from the roof of your house go? Right there, young lady. What's your name? Amari. Amari. Amari, okay. Down the drain spouts. Down the drain spouts. Then where does it go? Um. To go someplace. Where's it To go? the rain barrels. To where? To the rain barrels. No, but it could go to the rain barrel after the day. You, you're smart. You're way ahead of us. You're way ahead of us. But you know, that's really good because that's you answered the question I'm going to ask later on. That's how smart you are. Let's hear a round of round. That's terrific. That's terrific. That's better than Alan McKnight. Okay, so. So then it goes down the drain. Then where does it go? From the drain. Yes, sir. What's your name? Charleston. Charleston? That's a cool name. Charleston. What's your last name, Charleston? Mac. Charleston Mac? Man, that's a cool name. What's your name? My name is Charleston Mac. All right, go ahead. Let me hear you. It goes down the gutter. Goes down the gutter. Then, but where does it go after that? Goes down the in the <gasps> trains and then goes someplace. Where does it go? Ocean. Where do you say? Okay, but it goes beyond that. Beyond that. Where does it go? Yes. What, what, what's your name? Kamal Walters. Kamal. Very good. All right. Treatment plan. 
It gets to the treatment plant, but where but where does it go before that? It goes to the river. Yes. That's right. That's what she was gonna say. Mm-hmm. Now, that's what that's what you gonna say? Me too. Me too. You too? Yeah. Who's gonna say that? Stand up. You guys. This class is incredible. Thank you, Capital Kids. All right. What kinds of things do we... Now, the water goes in a, sometimes in the storm drains. Comes from the house, goes down the storm drains into the river. Now, so it goes into the river, and water and rain goes down those pipes and into the river. We want to keep our rivers clean, right? So what kind of things do we need to keep out of those storm drains in order to keep our river clean? Oh. Right here, what's your name? Elijah Rivers. Elijah Rivers? <laughs> Is his last name Rivers? Yeah. All right, Elijah. Paint, paint, oil, trash, trash, and all kinds of things out of, out of our pipes. Come on up here, Elijah. Come on. <laughs> that is fabulous. He said, wait, say it right here. We need to keep oil, paint, and trash out of our pipes and, and anything else that, is, that does not go to the environment right. That's it. Elijah Rivers. You know, he answered that because his last name is River. He understands this more than most because he's a river himself. Uh, okay. So, give me some things, some examples of how we can use less water. Less water. Is it, first of all, is it important to save water? Yes. Okay, why is it important to save water? No, I am called, yeah, right here, big guy. It's important to save water because, plus they get rain first. So, is it important to save water? It's important to save water because if, like, when we use too much water from the... Because we want to... It saves money from, like, your water, like... Water bills. Water bills. Yeah. Like, when you're brushing your teeth or something, don't lose the water one because then that's... What's your name? Like huh? Like Come on up here. Come on up here, man. Uh, you're just a genius yourself. <laughs> so, Sean, let's go high five. All right. And how about, do you hear that? Yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. Well, here's what we're going to do today. What we're doing today is that we're rolling out this great new program called the Columbus Backyard Conservation Rain Barrel Program. Very important program. So, what we're going to have are rain barrels. You know what a rain barrel is? Yes. Have you seen a rain barrel today? Yes. What do you do with rain barrels? Save water. Save water. Save water. Your mom's got a rain barrel in her backyard? What she do with it? All right, hear that? She's a genius. Woo Saves what water in the rain barrel so it doesn't go down. The water from the roofs don't come down into the sewers, storm sewers that don't go to the river. So you could use that water right there to water plants, to wash cars, and all kinds of things. Plus, she's saving lots of money by doing that. Lots of money. In fact, uh, in fact, it, it helps save some almost $90 every six months by using a rain barrel instead of tap water, instead of turning on that water at the faucet uh, to do, to, to water those, like those vegetables right behind you. If we had a rain barrel right here, we could water these through our rain barrel. Where, we got a rain barrel? Okay, we already got one. We got several of them. You guys are just way ahead of the game. And so what we're trying to do 
is we're trying to be good stewards of the environment and save money on your water bill all at the same time through this rain barrel effort. And I'm very excited about it because we tried this out last year and found that over 85% of the residents were satisfied with the rain barrel and over 95% would, percent would recommend the rain barrel to others. And so we're going to have rain barrels. We'll put a thousand rain barrels all over the city. One thousand rain barrels. Who wants, who's going to support this program? One thousand rain barrels. All right. I cannot wait for my rain barrel. Now, to do this program, we have partnered with Earth Minded, which is a subsidiary of Greif Incorporated, which is headquartered right here in, in Columbus. You've heard of Greif? No, have you? But they're the rain barrel people. They make the rain barrels. And so uh, nonprofit organizations like Franklin Soil and Water and local groups will help uh, do this effort on behalf of the city. So Greif is a great partner in this regard. And here's what they're doing. This is really important. These rain barrels are $139 each, but they're going to let the public uh, that participate in this program uh, get these rain barrels for only $45. Only $45. How about that for a sale? Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me figure that out. That's about, what's it? Who's good at math? What percent of $45 is $139? Or, or what percent? One thirty nine is one one thirty nine dollars is one hundred percent. What's forty five dollars? What's that about? About thirty three percent. Stand what stand up, man. Yeah. That's a capital kid. Come on up here, man. What's that about? Come on. Give him a scholarship. He did that just all automatically, is he right? Um, probably is. <laughs> All right. He is smart. But here's how we're going to do this. Because with these rain barrels, uh, folks are going to have to register with the Columbus Green Spot Program. And that's a new program. Not new. It's a program we have in the city of Columbus. And uh, you can attend workshops and understand how these rain barrels work and why it's important. And, or you can take an online quiz at www.columbusrainbarrel.org. So we're out to do how many rain barrels? A thousand. How many? A thousand. All right. You got to get your parents to buy these rain barrels. For how much? $25. And how much were they originally? $139. $39. This is a good deal. This is a good deal. And you save a lot of money in the process. And it'll just take a few couple months to get all that money back, $45 back, because you save $89 every few months simply by using a rain barrel. Plus, you protect the environment, and you can water your grass, water your plants, wash your car. It's a cool thing to have. It's one of the coolest things we got going in our city. Yes, sir? When it rains super-duper hard and you have a rain, back rain barrel in the back of your yard, all that rain is going to your rain barrel, and then... By the time you know it, it'll be flooded and you'll have a whole bunch of water to water your friends. There you go. The more it rains, the more you can water your plants. That's what he's saying. How about that? Okay, so now we have uh, Eileen Paley, who's our council member. And uh, she is a really cool council member, too. Because, yeah, she's cool. She's got that flag on. You know, what, what, what holiday's coming up? Fourth of July, Independence Day, that's right, and she's wearing a flag. So come on up here, Council Member Eileen Paley, and let's talk about these rain barrels. Everybody clap for her. All right. Good afternoon. I'm so pleased to be here today at the Mar Marion Franklin Recreation Center for the Columbus Green Spot event. And it looks like you all are having a great time. Yes? I'd like to thank Mayor Coleman and the Green Team and Scott Griffin of Earth Minded Greif Incorporated. Jennifer Fish, is she here from Franklin Soil and Water? There. 
and um, because we are here to showcase why rain barrels are important to you, me, and everybody else in the city, right? So you're gonna you're gonna know more than most people, right? Because you know what a rain barrel does, absolutely, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> I am the chair of public utilities of Columbus City Council. And as the mayor does, we take conservation and environmental issues very important. We think they're very important and we take them very seriously. For example, we can see that you have your, your gardens here. You're growing, you're growing your plants, right? Because you care about your environment and you care about what you eat and you care about what you drink and you want to make sure that you're drinking clean water, right? And that we're conserving water. The Rain Barrel event allows us to again showcase a team effort with the community groups, uh, Recreation and Parks, the Housing Division, and the Institute for Active Living to promote green solutions. Here at Marion Franklin, we will use Rain Barrels to create a learning opportunity for our kids as well as the community as in whole regarding water conservation. It's important to our city, it's important to the neighborhoods, and it's important to you as you're growing up. Rain barrels reduce the amount of water flowing into the city's sewer treatment center, and they also lower the percentage of rooftop rainfall as a component of urban runoff, and they keep our waterways clean. As the chair of utilities, that's important to me because it helps us keep our water bills low, which makes your parents happy, right? Yeah. They don't like to pay for the water. No. If you use rain barrels, it's how is it advantageous, advantageous, that's a big word for me and for you, um, to your parents. What can it do? The water is collected naturally and it's softened water. What can it help grow? That's right. How about vegetables that you eat, correct? Can it clean the windows in your house? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? What else can it clean? Yes? Mm, that's, cool. that's, that's right. Cool. And we already said it will help lower our water bill, right? Why? Because we're, we're using less water out of the tap and more water from the rain barrel, correct? So we're just happy to all be out here. I know. Who, who ordered the weather today? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Um, we're just happy to be out here today to learn more about conservation and water and water treatment and keeping water clean. And I just hope you have a great day. And if there's anything we can do for you, you give us a call too, okay? Have a good day. I'd like to now introduce Scott Griffin of Earth Mind Drive. And I think that we need to um, give him a big round of applause. Because without him, we can't do this program, right? Uh, well, we're very pleased uh, to be here. Boy, I tell you what, what a what a beautiful group of children out there. Holy mackerel, it's amazing to see you guys. We need to get these folks out and about everywhere to see these children. Um, Greif is really excited to be part of this program. Mayor Coleman's commitment to making Columbus a greener city has been an inspiration to both businesses and residents of Columbus. And as a result, Columbus is becoming a sustainable city each and every day. Greif is a global company, a $4 billion company actually, but Columbus is our home, which is why we have an ongoing partnership with Mayor Coleman and the city of Columbus. It is incumbent upon us to protect all our natural resources so that our children and our children's children live well within the limits of this planet. A critical threat to the world's ability to support its population is universal access to clean water. At Greif, sustainability is a priority. We are committed to being part of the solution. We are continuously reducing our carbon emissions, energy consumption within our operations, and developing environmentally responsible products. Currently, Greif is developing products like the water backpack that will help people in developing economies like Haiti and Kenya, where water is difficult to find, and often drinking water requires that people walk multiple kilometers to retrieve it. You know, we're very, very blessed here in the United States. We have to take these resources that we have. We should never take them for granted. We have to cherish them. We're also developing products here at home. 
Um, the Earth Minded Rain Barrel is an example of a product we're developing for use here in the United States. These rain barrels allow a family to capture water that would typically be lost. The responsibility of water conservation is the responsibility of all of us, the children here and the adults. Initiatives such as this play a critical role in educating and inspiring people to take action. We'd like to thank Mayor Coleman for his foresight and leadership in this important initiative. We'd like to thank each and every one of the junior mayors represented here. Greif and our 16,000 employees wish you all the best. Have a blessed and safe summer and good luck in saving water. Thank you very much. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Oh, I get to do an introduction. Okay. Uh, so I uh, would like to introduce Jennifer, Jennifer Fisk from the so uh, Franklin County Soil and Water. Yes. yes. <laughs> Again, I'm Jennifer Fish. I'm director with Franklin Soil and Water Conservation District. It's a long name. Um, when it comes to soil and water conservation and stream protection, we all contribute to the problem. Um, all of us use our water resources and we all impact our water resources. And therefore, we all need to be part of the solution. City of Columbus is rich. And one thing City of Columbus is rich in is water resources from the small creeks in the wooded ravines to the large rivers and reservoirs that we can recreate in. Every resident and everyone here has an opportunity to enjoy these free and valuable resources through the use of city parks, water trails, and more. How many here have used the city park, the water, or one of the bike trails recently? Great. Yeah. These resources are not only important for that, but they're important to our community for drinking water, for wildlife, and again for recreation. They are part of our identity here in the city of Columbus. They are also very important to our economy. Franklin Stonewater is very excited to be working with City of Columbus, Friends of Lower Olentangy Watershed, Friends of Allen Creek and Tributaries, Friends of Big Walnut, to increase awareness and support individual responsibility by providing low-cost rain barrels to City of Columbus residents. I encourage everybody here today to spread the word these rain barrels are available and participate in the effort. And I would like to commend the City of Columbus and the Mayor for their leadership in developing this program. Right. Say so thank you. Thank you. All right. Now I think what we're going to do is I'm going to do some uh, handprints. You want to see me do a handprint? Yeah. All right, let's go do it. Nice and slimy. You don't get me back to this one. Get away from the paint, Kobe. Excuse me. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. Everybody, clap it up. Big, big pork chop hands. <laughs> big pork chop hands. <laughs> One, two, three, go grab Columbus! Yay. Awesome. Okay, she's she's right. Right. Watch me. <laughs> now, who wants a high five? Yay. All right, there you go. <laughs> you gotta go do that one, didn't you? <laughs> there you go. Right, who wants this one? All right, there you go. <laughs>